Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, in life, especially in professional sports, we want to believe that people are invincible. We want to believe that there's no carryover for bad nights. Right, that no one has flashbacks, that people aren't emotionally scarred, at least in the short term. Now, Alfonso Gomez is interesting because he's only fought one time since 2012. Right, just once since 2012, and that was way back in last July, right, when he fought a guy, Ed Paredes, and of course, he got dropped twice in that fight. He gets off the canvas, he goes on to win the match. But just understand, in the one fight he's had in almost the last three years, right, the guy was hit and dropped twice. Yoshihiro Kamage is exactly the wrong kind of opponent for him to be fighting at this stage of his career. I'm guessing because he's 34 and he's running out of championship opportunities and because this fight is going to be on Fox Sports, it was too good an opportunity to pass up. But understand that Kamage is a pressure fighter. He is, as I like to say, a fighter who runs red lights. I want you to think of Alfredo Angulo. I want you to think of James Kirkland. He's going to be in your face. You're going to have to fight back. He hits hard. He has 22 knockouts. Right? Let me go one step further, though. His two losses are fights in which his opponents threaded the needle. Johan Perez, in my opinion, is one of boxing's more underrated fighters. Right? Johan Perez really fought a masterpiece fight to beat Kamage. Robert the Ghost Guerrero got hit so often in that Kamage fight that as you watch that fight, you had to scratch your head at Guerrero's inability to keep Kamage off of him. Right? So Kamage is going to come in and he's going to raise the room temperature and he's going to do so almost immediately. He's not afraid to get hit. He's going to throw high volume. He's going to be on his front foot. He's going to be hunting down Alfonso Gomez. I like Kamage in this fight. I don't think Gomez is ready for it. Right? Sometimes your memory will betray you. You might remember... Gomez is a guy who has a lot of boxing skills, a guy who, quite frankly, was beating Saul Alvarez way back when. The problem is it was way back when. That Gomez-Alvarez fight was back in 2011. Right? Gomez has a less than 40% KO ratio. He doesn't have a particularly stiff jab. He doesn't have a way, in my opinion, to keep a hard charging Kamage off of him. I think this fight might actually look like Gomez's fight against Miguel Cotto years ago. That's an old 2008 fight. I would encourage you to take a look at it. Cotto gets the fifth round KO, right? When Cotto steps on the gas, Gomez has nothing to keep him off of him. Isn't that what happened too? To Gomez against Saul Alvarez. So, Kamage is going off at less than a minus 200. I think that's a bargain. I think Kamage at a minimum is going to throw more punches than Gomez. I understand it's only a 10 round fight, but at a minimum he's going to be more active than Gomez. I believe if Gomez is unlucky he's going to find himself getting dropped just like he was dropped in his last fight. 
The difference is even if he gets up off the canvas here, his opponent is going to be relentless. There's not going to be breaks in the action, right? I think that's too much to ask of a 34-year-old who's only had one fight since 2012. I like Yorohiro Kamage here. I would encourage people to look at Kamage's last fight against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Right, understand that fight has a certain dynamic where the ghost is very good in the pocket, hits a lot harder than Gomez, and is a southpaw. Right here, you're going to have a more orthodox fighter who Kamage is more accustomed to fighting, who doesn't have Guerrero's power, who doesn't have Guerrero's punch resistance. I like Kamage here in this one. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for us here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.